TGG, a YouTuber who's wrong. So today, I'm going to be going over TGG's list and how I feel it is not accurate when you're going against well-rounded griefers. I did watch through his video, and he did say that this is specifically to counter oppressors, but he didn't include that in the title, so his video isn't really accurate. So today, I'm going to be going over the vehicles that you should use against well-rounded griefers. Starting off, we're just going to go over his list, um, TGG's list of vehicles were the MOC, the Acid Lab, the Night Shark with window plating, Terrador, and a fully loaded Ruiner, along with Amani Tech vehicles. Now, Amani vehicles and the MOC are pretty good. Terrador is also decent if you're going against some vehicles, but if you're going against an armored vehicle like the Night Shark, you're kind of screwed in the Terrador, or uh, an Amani vehicle. Amani vehicles and a Night Shark definitely counter the Terrador. So his list is against an oppressor, his list is decent, but against well-rounded griefers you're getting cooked with most of these so the downsides of the acid lab are that it has terrible maneuverability it's awful it's i'm pretty sure it's slow i didn't really do a test drive before this video so correct me if i'm wrong not much for defense you, c you can shoot flares and shoot and throw stickies out of it i'm pretty sure and uh okay well i guess not much for defense now i'm misleading people it's pretty good for defense but when it comes to regular griefers, someone just in a night shark, for example, they can just drive up next to you and shoot you. You can't do anything about it. You can try to shoot them too, but you're also a bit higher, more elevated. So you're gonna, you're just gonna be shooting at the roof unless they're away from you. So the acid lab, it's pretty defenseless when it comes to anything but an oppressor. The night shark with window plates is also pretty, you're pretty vulnerable. You can, you're just gonna get blown up or someone, if you're going against someone on the ground, you're just gonna get shot out. Um, or if you're going against another night shark, they're just going to shoot you out if they have good aim anyway. If they have terrible aim, then you're probably surviving for a little bit longer. Or they're just going to throw sticky bombs at you until you die. And the only thing you can use to defend yourself is a minigun on the bumper. So you're pretty much cooked if you're in this version of the night shark. So if you ever have a night shark, don't put the window plating on. It's terrible. Never do it. Even if you think it's more defensive, it's not. And then he also mentioned the Fully Loaded Ruiner. The Fully Loaded Ruiner is good against oppressors and, you know, unarmored vehicles in general. So like the Sparrow, it could probably take down um, a civilian car, like a Honda Civic, it could take down. It's not taking down a Night Shark or an Imani vehicle, probably. So, yeah, no, it's only good for running away against those vehicles. But even then, like, you're not going to get away for long. If they're determined to get you, they're going to get you out of that Fully Loaded Ruiner. So yeah, um, experienced griefers, you're going to get cooked in a fully loaded ruiner. So here's my list and my picks for which you should actually use against well-rounded griefers. Not just oppressors, but basically everything, okay? And starting off with the MOC, he had this on his list too, um, but he didn't wasn't really specific with which cab you should use. You should use the hauler custom. The hauler custom is faster and more agile. At least it feels like that to me. Um, the other one, just like a regular semi, but just faster and a bit beefed up. So, yeah, just make sure you don't put the window plating on it either way, and you should be fine. So the Terror Bite, it's going to be better against most vehicles, especially if it gets hairy. You could just stop and get inside the cab before you get killed. But I wouldn't really recommend that. I would recommend the Terror Bite over the Acid Lab, but I wouldn't recommend it over the MOC. It's just an honorable mention, I guess. If you can, if you have a nightclub, you don't have a bunker, get the Terror Bite. That's a, it's a decent filler. Positive ditty. And next up, we have the Night Shark without the window plating. It can take about 27 missiles. It's a it's a freaking tank. It's pretty much the best counter to anything in the game and the cheapest counter, I'm pretty sure, too. Um, you can use the Heavy Revolver, the Compact SMG Flares, the Sticky Bombs. At least that's what I use out of the Night Shark because those are the best weapons you can use in any vehicle you're in. But if you have the window plating on, you can't use any of that and you can only use that bumper minigun. So don't... Don't do that. <clears throat> and it's pretty, even without the window plating, I'm pretty sure the window plating can protect it from like one more missile shot or something. I'm not sure, but either way, it's pretty much useless and makes you more vulnerable. Yeah, and against an average griefer, if you have the window plating on, you're just going to get shot out. Especially for an auto aim, you're just going to get shot out. So yeah, that's, that's the first part of my list. The second part is just continuing with land vehicles. The Terrador, I'm gonna keep on the list, especially if you're a noob. I mean, I don't know why you'd be buying the Terrador over the Night Shark, but I can understand it if you're trying to take down oppressors or maybe just flying vehicles that are really annoying. But against the Night Shark or against the Namani vehicle, the Terrador is gonna get taken care of pretty easily. So it's more of an honorable mention 
I don't think the Torador is too good. It can take, it's the best counter to oppressors probably, or at least one of the best of counters, because it can take a couple missiles before it blows up. Not very many, only three, but it can still take a couple shots. So it's better than the Scramjet or the Deluxo in the defense department, I suppose. But I would still say the Scramjet or the Deluxo are better than the Torador. Even though the Torador can take a punch, I'd just say it's more of an honorable mention. And TGG also mentions Amani vehicles, and yeah, Amani vehicles are pretty fucking good. Um, they're very maneuverable, fast, durable, and you can shoot your guns out of it, you can use flares, and you can also use lock-on jammer, so you can't get shot down with missiles. Very defensive, but also can be offensive. And you also have the oil slick. This vehicle is very fucking annoying, and griefers are probably just going to become uninterested in you if you're in this vehicle, so... This is a very effective vehicle, but the only downside is that you can only use it when you have an agency. So that's why I recommend Night Shark over these vehicles, at least if you're a beginner <laughs> in PvP, I guess. So moving on to vehicles that you might need a bit more experience with or practice with. So for the Scramjet, you have the boost, you can jump, and you can dodge rockets pretty easily. Um, it's a little bit worse than the Ruiner, but also it's better because you can actually shoot guns out of it, you can shoot flares sticky bombs and you can also just switch back to the missiles or the minigun on the bumper but i wouldn't use the minigun if i were you so it's kind of a give or take with the uh, scramjet and the ruiner but the scramjet's just overall better it's easier to access you don't need to go through all the hoops to be able to become invincible but it's going to take a lot of, a little bit of practice an honorable mention that i don't have on this list is the deluxo it takes way more practice than the scramjet very annoying <laughs> to get good at but i mean it has its pros and cons uh pick and choose i take the scramjet over the deluxo and then we have the sparrow sparrow if you have a kasaka which pretty much everyone does the sparrow is really good it can only take one missile but it has countermeasures unlike the scramjet it also has infinite rockets and it has no cooldown in between shooting rockets so it's just bang bang well i guess it has a one second cooldown but still um, so, and it can beat an oppressor i've beaten oppressors with it before an upside down oppressor you're not beating but a regular oppressor or like just a normal person on an oppressor yeah you're beating them going on to aircraft which i mean i already started with the sparrow but going on to more aircrafts you have the raiju obviously um it's a very defensive jet you can go off the radar with it and also has uh, the laser rounds the laser um what is it minigun you have the laser minigun that the explosive rounds and you also have the homing missiles typical for a jet so it's it's basically just a better laser and it's also more maneuverable i've only flown it a handful of times because i don't own it in the game but it's pretty fucking good and next up we have the starling it's very hard to learn but it is maneuverable it's small and can outrun missiles when you use the boost correctly it just takes a lot of practice to get used to the movement because it's kind of weird you can get pushed around by the wind a lot and then next up we have the b11 it's not as good as the raiju or even the starling because it's not as maneuverable but it has a bit more armor also has the explosive rounds, but it's not as strong as the laser. Or at least, maybe it is now because of the nurse. I don't know. I haven't really flown much since the nurse, but they're still effective. And it also has a missile barrages along with the regular homing missiles. So it can be effective against ground targets and maybe some aircraft if you use it right. And finally, moving on to my final vehicle that I think you should definitely use is the Faggio. I'm not going to explain myself. Um, it's just the most effective vehicle out there, in my personal opinion. I've taken down so many pressers with this. Uh, it's just, you know, the ratio is like 100 to 1. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. That's kind of all I have to say. <laughs> Make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. I would appreciate that. And uh, I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.